guys and welcome back to my channel and today today we are going to be bringing back a story that i read so long ago and yet for some reason just never finished I, I i can't give you a reason why i didn't finish it but i was going back looking on my um channel and noticed that i read this um revenge daddy and rebounding with storm and i just like stopped reading them so abruptly don't know why can't give you a single reason why i stopped reading them but i think i'm gonna bring this one back because um, i've been getting comments on my video saying why did i stop reading this one was it boring did i not enjoy it blah 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 blah. and i don't remember it not being enjoyable from what i remember i don't remember then again i don't really remember the story at all so this should be you know this should be fun for all of us but if you guys think i should bring back revenge daddy and rebounding with storm let me know and let me know if i should read the ink versions or the limelight versions because I'm going to reread the bunny boiler, but I'm going to do the limelight version of this one. Also, if you guys have not seen, I have finally stopped being so lazy and put all of my videos in playlists. So if you are here to read a specific story that we have read or we're currently reading and you're behind, it's in a playlist now. I'm going to try to get back to putting all my stories in playlists so you guys can watch them just in case you guys are looking for a specific story. So all of my stories that um, we've already read that have, are finished and any story that we're currently reading that we are still reading now are now all in a playlist. Even Love Island is also in a playlist so you guys can watch that as well. But other than that and all my gibber jabbering, um, yeah, let's just let's just jump back into the bunny boy Leland and see what's up with this. So, yeah, let's go. Chapter one, a new start. All right, guys, so we have done our customation. Our girl's name is Miss Tia, and she is a best friend. Her name is Haley, who you guys will see as the story progresses. No bunnies were harmed in the making of this story. A bunny boiler. A woman who acts vengefully after being spurned by her lover. All right, so apparently... Something's gonna happen with our lover. New York, the city of dreams, or so they say. One belongs to New York instantly, one belongs to it as much in five minutes as in five years. Time forward. To some extent, I believe that. New York has been my home for the year or so, and boy, have I had my fair share of adventures. So we live in Miss New York City very cute up here this is our girl miss tia if you guys can see her i sighed and let the cool evening breeze run through me as i stood precautiously close to the edge this view was breathtaking there was no denying that so why shouldn't i enjoy it i have to tell him who i really am our entire relationship is based on a lie would he still love me i hope so I heard a door click, and I steadied myself against the balcony. I could sense a tall, lean figure watching me from behind. But instead of feeling shy like I might have once upon, I felt beautiful. I can feel you watching me, Noah. Wow. Is this the part where you give me some cliche line on how the view looks better than me? I felt a hand at the small of my back as he chuckled softly. Goosebumps spread through my skin like wildfire as I resist the urge to lean into his touch. Nah, this view is hard to beat to you, idiot. You're a close second. I rolled my eyes and let a smart play on my face on my lips, never letting my gaze flatter from the sea of buildings in front of me. You could say I had it all, but all all of it was based on a lie. Isn't she cute? Like gosh, she's gorgeous. Wow, I really did that really did that everything okay no i need to tell you something well let's not get ahead of ourselves let's go back a bit shall we all right so we taking it back back to when it all started almost a year ago Ooh, not a year okay we have in the club cuties everywhere is that a piercing that she has? Can we get piercings in this game now? That would be a cool addition if they added, like, we could get, like, facial piercings or even, like, add tattoos instead of, like, waiting for the, um, waiting for the, 
author or do it, that would be cool. Welcome to Deliberum, one of the most popular nightclubs around. People come here all over the world just to party here. It was never ending chariot. It was a near, uh, 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 uh. it was a never ending chariot of drinking, dancing, and maybe hooking up with something cute. Photographers waiting outside all night in the cold, just waiting for any celebrity they could find. I lost count of all the times Lerum has been featured in a cheap magazine. It makes for good business, I guess. Wait, you're not scanning the crowds looking for me, are you? Oh, honey, don't make me laugh. Oh, there she is. There's a girl, Miss Tia, and the girl on the right is our best friend, Haley. I was a waitress here. Yeah, that ridiculous bunny attire with the little ears in my uniform. It was fun, degrading. Um, I mean, we look cute, so we're going to say it was fun. It was kind of silly and fun, I guess. The customers loved it and how tips were, all, were always a given when the girls were wearing it. Girls, our boss put me in charge tonight. And so far, all I'm seeing is you lot standing around doing nothing. There are important people out there. People who are worth more than you said sex ever will be. I mean, take a look around you. We've been open for five minutes and we're already pretty crowded. It's only going to get busier. Blah, 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 blah. Ugh, good old Kim. 25 and X looks she's 18. Probably doing a boss. Well, that's no problem about it. There's no way she'd be in this position if she wasn't. Okay, make sure everyone's drinks are full and their wallets are empty. I don't care what body part you flash at them. Just make sure it's the one that will make them spend the most money. Sassy reply, just play along. Girl, sassy reply. Is that how you got your job here, Kim? Flashing your certain body part at our boss? Watch that tongue, Tia, before I rip it out and serve it as an appetizer. We all know what you did with your tongue to get your promotion. Enough. If I catch either of you slacking tonight, I'll report it to Mr. Weathers. Don't test me. I'm in charge tonight, so I'll be watching all of you. Especially you, Tia. Oh, girl, bite me. I, um, I'll get started in the VIP lounge. Yeah, no worries, Angel. T and I will come help you out once the bartender clocks in. Cool, I'll see you in a bit. She's cute, Angel. This is us and our bestie. Kim is becoming a vicious bitch, isn't she? You know, she only has it out for us because she's screwing our boss, right? But what does she think we're gonna do? I sure as I won't be sleeping with someone for a promotion anytime soon. True, I mean, Mr. Weathers is pushing 50. Can you not? There's a thought I don't want being imprinted on my brain besides if we're going to be working here for the next uh, nah, 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 i'm not letting you think like that tia one day some famous talented scout will come in here and get us and we'll get signed i just know it i wish i chewed on my lower lip as Haley talked about the reason we were here we had both moved from a small town in search for a better life corny right we both wanted to be models because we're gorgeous and we're going to be models with you this will okay both of us were just about tall enough and i mean come on we're both good looking right perfect for editorials not to toot my own horn or nothing but we really did believe we would have been scouted by now i don't know Haley. we've been here nearly six months and nothing has changed it will i just know it will if you say so Deliberum only seemed to get busier as the hours went by. Haley and I rushed off our feet, and trust me, walking around in six and seals trying to please hundreds of people at once isn't an easy task. All I wanted right now was pizza and a date with my Epi Epiflix account. Epiflix. So I'm guessing that's Netflix. Jeez, you wouldn't think it was a Tuesday night, would you? she's seeing something i haven't seen angel in a while i hope she's all right angel angel what am i doing i stood on the dance floor and tried at night to inhale the distinct smell of sweat and lust teetering on my heels i tried to see her pretty face but my attempts were wasted so it didn't feel right and like i usually did i trusted my instincts so we are off to look for i'm guessing she's a good friend of ours angel I had worked here long enough to know when a waitress doesn't tend to her position, and over half an hour, something is usually wrong. Rowdy VIP guests, people who drink too much and need an ambulance, paparazzi getting into fights, I've seen it all. Oh, and you think working at a huge lumber's nightclub is all fun and games? Haha, <laughs> no. It was just about, it was just about bearable because of the girls I worked with, and the money was pretty decent. Ah! Suddenly, I heard a loud yell. I headed into the girls' bathroom as fast as I could. 
What, what the heck is going on here? Oh. This piece of stool thought it would be a good idea to follow Angel in here and ask her what color her underwear was. He, he was pestering me all night he wouldn't stop following me i was afraid so i came in here to call the bouncer but but i wasn't stalking her i swear i thought she was hot she's wandering around in that little outfit what do you how do you expect me to react oh my god like like you have some fucking sense like gross then your friend comes in here and starts yelling at me and she struck me i want to speak to a manager oh hell no you want to speak to a manager oh kick him again let me tell you something, you hideous creep. You don't get what you want. You get to deal with me. Slap him in the face. Oh, again. Do you feel powerless, huh? Do you feel scared? Well, this is how you made Angel feel. I, I, I want my mom. Well, your mommy ain't here, boy. And you're not going anywhere until you apologize to the young lady you terrorized. And then you're going to leave the living room and never come back. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. Just because you think a girl is sexy doesn't mean you're entitled to her or ask her gross perverted questions. Boy, if I ever see your butt within 20 paces of this place, I'm going to stick my boot so far up your... Tell them again, girls. Tell them again. Ooh. I heard a commotion. Is everything okay in here, ladies? Uh, yes. Good old Gerald. The Liberum's official meathead. No one messes with Gerald. I mean, look at the size of him. He's a goddamn mountain. Oh, thank God. Another man here to save me from these violent, unclossed females. I was afraid for my life, good sir. Gerald, don't listen to him. He was harassing me, and he started following me everywhere, and then he asked me about my panties. It's true. I was in the stall. I overheard everything. He was being a total creep. Oop. Get him, Gerald. Oh, God. That's Gerald. You'd have messed up face. Damn, little man. You really want to play these games? What, what games? Come on, bro. She's fine as hell, and I just wanted to know her and maybe take her back to mine, and... Oop. 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 You wanted to get to know her, huh? Maybe get her home, take off her clothes? wrong move bitch boy angel is my little sister Ooh. i'm a dead man i didn't know man i'm sorry just let me go i'll never ask to see a girl's underwear again not a chance dude Ooh. ow throw him out throw him out throw him out Was I being slightly extra about this? You're damn right I was. I was sick and tired of gross men and women thinking their gross actions didn't have consequences. He's all yours, Gerald. I don't want this loser ever to come near this place again, got it? If he values his life or his private price, he won't even think about this place or my sister ever again. Now let me kindly escort this scumbag out the building before I throw him into the trash piece by piece. Ladies, you probably don't want to watch this. Ooh, get him, Gerald. Get him, Gerald. No, no, not Polly Jr. All right, so that creep got what he deserved because, you know, guys can be absolutely disgusting sometimes. But anyway, Gerald sorted out of the creep and he did a damn good job doing it. He really did leave here with his tail between his legs if you catch my drift. Thankfully, Kim had to, hadn't come to check on us, so Haley and I were able to confront, comfort our friend for a little while. I held on tightly to Angel, who was slightly trembling under my touch. She was such a strong girl, but every strong girl needs her friends every now and then. It's okay, boo. We got you. Thank you for having my back, girls. I know that you must have been scared. What sort of little pervert follows a girl in here? I should have never put you two in danger. Nonsense. We have your back, Angel. Always. Thanks, girls. Haley, is it alright if I walk Angel back to the bar? I just need to freshen up. Honestly, I'm okay. Yeah, of course. Angel, if Kim starts to give you trouble, come and find me, okay? Oh, don't. You need to worry about that, Tia. If that snake even hisses in my direction, I'm going to be spitting poison before she can. That's a colorful metaphor, Haley. Thanks. I've been taking a creative writing class after work. We, we better get back. So our girl Angel is a little shaken up from everything that's happened to her. Which, I mean, we understand because that dude was a total creep. But we just make sure she's all good. I got the feeling I was being watched, but I knew Gerald had sorted out that gross guy. I let the cold water I let the cold water wash over my hands and splash my face a little in an effort to freshen up when I heard the distant clicking of high heels. High heels. If I turn around and it's Kim, I'm gonna scream. Slap her ass. Well, no. Hey, it's Tia, right? Can we help you? Who's asking? 
I took a moment to appreciate the beautiful woman in front of me. She was decked out from head to toe in luxury, expensive clothes, and a huge diamonds glittering on her fingers. This lady has money and lots of it. What am I going to do? I'm at work. I just sassed the customer and now I'm staring her out. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me for my attitude. It's been a long shift and save your apologies for someone that needs them, dear. I happen to like your spunky attitude. My name is Mercedes D. La Rosa and I'm the owner of Bunny Bell's LTD. I love the way you made that vile creature quake in his boots. And let's not forget how you made him cry for his mommy. You need to be beautiful like a model, creative like an actress, and be able to take a heart and crush it in the same breath. Not everyone has what it takes to be a bunny in my company, Tia, but I like the fire I see in your eyes. What is happening? It's quite an art to be able to reduce a man or a woman to their knees. And you, my love, are an artist. This is so weird, exciting. This is weird, low-key. Like, what kind of woman just comes in the bathroom and, yeah. What what woman comes up to... What woman comes up to a random waitress and offers her and her friend a job? She doesn't know me. I could be a damn manic maniac. I know you probably have a lot of questions, but here's my card. Okay, she's giving us her card. I'd love to schedule you and your friend for an interview tomorrow. The address for the building is on the back of the card. I need you and your friend to dress smart yet sexy, and I want to see see what I'm working with. Also, don't be late. I don't converse well with those who expect express tardiness. If you're interested, I'll see you and your friend tomorrow at 9 a.m. sharp tomorrow morning. This will be an incredible experience for you, Tia. If I were you, I wouldn't let it go to waste. Just to let you know, it pays very handsomely. What the hell? a weird woman but something about her offer intrigued me endlessly one half of me was screaming at me through a megaphone to throw the card away and never think of mercedes de la rosa or her company ever again but of course i didn't do that i tucked it in my bra and for the rest of my shift i wonder what being a bunny would entitle entail Alright, so we have been approached by Miss Mercedes, who wants us to be a bunny. Interesting. The rest of my shift was busy, and by the time 4 a.m. rolled around, I was ready to head home. Haley and I said goodbye to the staff, and even Kim seemed to be in a good mood. The night had gone well, and sometimes I really enjoyed my job. But the offer by that lady had never left my mind. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, Haley, what are you doing? Nothing. Is, is that an entire chocolate cake? Maybe. And if you carry on that judgment tone, you won't be getting any. That cake does look good. Didn't want any anyway. Give me that cake before somebody gets hurt. Girl, give me the cake before I have to hurt you. Haley, let's not make threats we can't keep to. Mmm, chocolate frosting is so good. Less talking, more cutting me a slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how angry you are when you're denied your sweet tooth. So, something weird happened to me earlier. Oh, yeah? Do you remember that lady in the bathroom? The really pretty one with dark curls? Yeah, I remember. She offered us both a job. What? Bunny bells? What is that? Beats me. She said we have to be pretty smart and creative and that it was a, a bit like acting. I don't know. She's very evasive about it and i didn't get much time to ask her anything she was loaded though <laughs> she was wearing the most beautiful clothes she said if we're interested we have an appointment tomorrow we have to do this tia i told you our big break was coming aren't you a little bit apprehensive are you going to be a stick in the mud your whole life or are you going to take a risk or two why can't we just scream yell over once and see if this goes anywhere one of us has to be the responsible one here Haley. this could be dangerous What are you doing? Just checking to see if her company is legit. Well, it seems real. That doesn't mean we should couldn't we both shouldn't be careful. Tia, the building she owns is absolutely massive. Just check out this poster. Bunny Bells, do you think your loved one is up to something you can't prove? Are you paying more attention to their phone? Or just want to test their loyalty? Well, Bunny Bells is a company for you with a range of beautiful models. All genders are bound to help you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, basically, they're just there to catch someone in the act. If they're cheating, then you can use one of the bunnies to prove if they're cheating or if they're, you know, faithful to you. Um, I would say that's pretty cool. 
so we're seducing men women i'm not sure i quite understand everything just yet how would we make money for this i never knew there was a market for people wanting to test cheating partners i don't really get it but it really seems pretty interesting to you it's like acting right and we get to dress up like models this could be a really awesome chance who knows what kind of connections we can make i'm going to, to that interview and i suggest you do as well I don't know what to do. Being a waitress is safe and comfort, but this could be a chance to earn some proper money. Okay. Okay. We'll go to the interview tomorrow. But that doesn't mean I'll definitely take the job. Who knows? Maybe there's only one position. I'll worry about that if that's the case. But for now, I'm going to bed. Also, she said to dress sexy. Sexy is my middle name. I thought your middle name was don't stifle my creativity. What? I thought you were going to bed and leaving me in peace to eat the rest of this cake. Don't come crying to me when you can't fit into your jeans tomorrow morning. I'll wake up. I'll wake you up in three hours. Oh. Great. Okay. Good night, Haley. Hey and I lived in a little apartment that was more shabby than chic. It was all we could afford, and seeing as living in New York was a dream, this was better than nothing. Maybe Haley is right. This could be a chance to test our skills and really move on up in the world. I let my head fall against my pillow as I stared at the ceiling and wild myself in to go to sleep. I obviously had a pretty big day ahead of me tomorrow. Ooh, okay, friend. Look at her. Oh, she looks so peaceful. Let's ruin that right away. <laughs> I like how she's like, oh, she looks peaceful. Get up, bitch. cock a doodle -doo, bitch. What the hell? Oh, just making sure you're awake, boo. Get your cute but ready. We're going to get coffee before we go, okay? I hate my life. I'm so unprepared. How do I know what this one wants for me? Be pretty and creative? That's hardly something I put on my resume. Ugh, what do I wear? One of these outfits earns you a bonus scene, so choose wisely. Simple and smart, or flashy and sexy? Um, can we, do we have to choose, or let's try flashy and sexy. I'll blow everyone's socks off in this outfit. Is this too distracting? Um, I'll try something else. Let's try the other one just in case. Simple and smart. Modern, but not too flashy. I think this is okay. I think this is a little too much, considering fact she wants us to also be sexy, but yet smart. So I think it's this one. Very cute. It's very sexy. Looks like she's smart, so we're away this one. This will do. I think I look pretty damn good, although I better check on Haley. I don't want her guzzle too much coffee and get too hyper. Oh, too late. What are you doing? Dancing. How much coffee have you had to drink? Sometimes it's better when we don't ha when we don't ask questions, Tia. Have you called a taxi? Really? What am I, an idiot? Don't answer that, Tia. I booked one last night just to be sure. What would I do without you, hmm? Hmm, probably still be living in our hometown with no jobs, no money, and never taking risks. All right, all right, I get the point. Taxi is here. Let's go. Haley, don't run in those heels. All right, so here we... Oh, okay. Well, then never mind. Okay, okay, guys. That is it for the very first episode of The Bunny Boiler. I'm happy to be bringing this back. I'm very curious to see how this goes. I don't remember anything from the story if i'm being honest so everything that we read will be a surprise um i think i've only read like six episodes i think they're like they're like 44 episodes in like this series but anyway guys if you guys want me to continue please let me know down below if you guys want me to bring back revenge daddy and rebounding with storm also let me know and we can bring those back too but other than that, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. I hope that you guys are having a great day. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
Middle finger all of my pictures just to remind y'all I ain't having it. I'm the best.